All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Sorry for the light upload. Today, I want to go over how to wire in four-way switches, rough in. Um, so first, I'm going to have to deconstruct the three-way switches. But basically, what this is, is you're separating the three-way switches. So I'm going to mount this box, nice little box over here on that side over there. Um, but basically what this is, is basically you're just cutting this three wire in half and putting them both into this box and then putting a four way switch right in the middle. So that's the easiest way I know how to explain it. So if there was enough slack right here, I would just cut this, stuff it into this box and then um, show you guys how to make that up. But basically that's what it is. So first I'm gonna deconstruct this real quick and then I will show you how to do this and uh, drill a hole through the stud. All right, give me a second. All right, so first I'm going to mount that box over there and then I'm gonna drill a hole through here because I have to cross wire from here to here and then here to the next box. So I'm gonna drill a hole right through this stud right here. So give me a second. We'll get those two things knocked out and then we'll be ready to go. All right guys, so we're all ready to go with our three boxes. So you're gonna need three boxes to do this. One box for the three-way, one box for the four-way, and then one box for the other three-way. So basically it's just, like I said, a three-way switch circuit interrupted by a box. And the box is just gonna be the two three wires in there. So let me go ahead and do this. I already left the switch leg wire in there. So um, like always, you're gonna need a um, power on one side and a switch leg on the other side. Um, you can run this most people put the four-way in the middle, but if you really wanted to do put the four-way at the end or something, then you could do that. But really, they're all the same switch. It just, just interrupts it. So however you want to wire it, but the easiest way to do it is just put the four-way right in the middle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this. So once again, I'm going to put a little power uh, wire out of here. And then I'm actually going to plug this in. I have this old piece of wire right here. So I'm just going to cut the end of this off and then use this as my power plug in here. So I will run a 14 two out of here and then tie in that little whip right there for power. So I'll have the actual wire in the box right there, 14 two, and then the uh, three wire between this box and this box and the, sorry, three wire, 14 three between this box and this box, 14 three between this box and this box. And that's gonna be pretty much it. It's pretty simple, but um, this will make more sense. Um, once you watch, and then also once I explain that in the next video. So first I'm gonna do a little power whip here real quick, and I, this is a brand new box, so I'm going to knock out the knockout racket here. So here's one, and then I will knock out another one at the top. Um, easier from the bottom. Or not. I'm just trying not to break this. So once I get that knocked out fully, not really coming out all the way. Gonna be pain. There we go. All right. So once I get that done, I'm going to grab my strippers and then I'm just gonna do the littlest uh, amount of wire here for a power pigtail. Um, so something like this. I'll strip that here in a second. Um, so there's my little power wire, 14-2, I already have the switch leg, and then it's just going to be the two, three wires between. So it's going to look something like this. I'm going to try to strip this out real quick, but I'll just add the rock climbing gym. So my wrist and everything is really sore, um, so this is very difficult to do at the moment. Every little movement is very painful. Um, so that's why I lay upload just because one, I was not doing anything productive the first half of the day and then I had to go to the store and buy all this material um, and then went rock climbing. So that's the lay upload. So, so here, this is going to be the three wire, the first three wire in, this will work. Going in there. I'll try to strip this out first. 
You can strip it in the box, but I can't do that at the moment, so. So there is that one right there. And I'm just gonna leave this long enough over here to get to the box. <clears throat> so something like this. Um, and that one will go in there in a second. And then the second one over here is gonna go to the other box. I'm gonna try to strip that out once again. I'm not sure why I have a coat on at this time. here. I can get all the wires in the box. So that one right there, followed by one over to here. About yay long. And then once again, you're just going to strip these to put it into the box. You can staple these if you want to. This is just a demo, so it may or may not be stapling this. My wrist forearm is giving out on me very quickly. If you know anything about climbing, I was trying to do a 5.9 and couldn't quite make it. I tried like, I don't know, like five or seven times. And kept failing at the same spot. Pretty difficult. Um, but I did some, uh, I think I did a 5.8 or 5.7, I think it was a 5.7 and I tried to go to a 5.9, so body wasn't having it. So there's that, and then another one over here, going into this box, I go about yay, hopefully that's enough for me. I'm just going to cut a little deeper on these ones. This one goes in here. So that's your three wire right there. Um, one into the left box, going to the middle, one from the middle going over to the right box. And then once again, I'm gonna cut my power wires out real quick. I mean, strip it out. Um, and then I will do a demo video tomorrow with the switches and everything. I just cut myself kinda. That didn't feel good. So, just stab myself. Um, anyways. So here's the power wire right here. I'll staple these down here um, so these don't fall out or anything like that. That one's pretty loose. Um, probably just gonna staple this one. Maybe all of them, I don't know. I need to find my staples here real quick. This is a really long video. But we're almost done, so try to keep this simple. So here we go, I'm just gonna staple this down here real quick. These are the worst possible staples I could have bought. It's probably a little bit tighter than I would have liked. Yeah, it's not too bad. So anyways, got the power wire right there, three wire right there. Um, you know, I'll just throw one here. No, you guys probably don't really care about this part. So there's one in there. Probably try to hit these two right here on this one. And then one more over here. Or these two, if I can make it work. This is not quite working out for me. This is.
Sure, that works. Okay, so got all our wires. Pretend that this is not twisted. So got our wire between there, three wire boom, three wire boom, switch leg and power. So um, I'll strip this out another, at another time, tie that on tomorrow with my power whip to plug it in because we're not gonna test it right now. So first let's get started. We do need our pigtails again. So I'll probably just borrow some wire from the last demo. Um, let me grab my strippers here. So I can probably make these work. So pretty much just need my ground pigtails and um, that might really be it for this video. Um, give me a second here to actually think. So I got that one, that one, and we'll go one more over here. So we're gonna do ground pigtail for every box. So one for this guy. Stay right there. It's not gonna stay. Ground pigtail for that one. Ground pigtail for this one. And then one for the one on the right. So I'm really trying here, folks. And these are my new Klein glow strippers, which I guess just came out, but I got them like a week ago. So anyways, um, yeah, I got all my wires. Got the other one over here somewhere. And it landed and disappeared. Um, so what we're gonna do here is just make up the grounds. Pretty basic. So I like to get everything out of the way and then get everything out of the way on this one. And then just push them to the corner. We got these wires here and these wires here. Let me grab a pigtail or a wire nut. So, so again, just gonna cut these off real quick so they're all the same length. It's a really long video, I'm not sure. I'm trying to get everything done, there's a lot to this. So I just wire up the grounds together. And then same with the neutrals, except no pigtail, I'm just gonna tie these together. So these are probably gonna be a little bit short maybe, um, but they're right about the size that you need them, six inches in the box. Another wire nut, tie these together. All right, so this switch box is done now. So you got your pigtail right here, your neutrals, and then these other three wires go onto the switch. So your two travelers, keep those together, and then your power, um, your power wire, or your common. Um, I like to wrap that around the travelers so they don't get confused on what goes to what. Um, go ahead and fold up to your ground, your neutral, and then you can leave that there or wrap it around, wrap the ground around your other wires if you want to. Um, and then you can just fold those back into the box. I like to shove them back as far as possible, if you know me, as far back as possible, just because less damage, less likelihood of damage to your wires. I don't care about looks. Um, I'm not one of those people that leaves the wire hanging out at the front of the box to get cut off and damaged because I've seen that happen so many times in my workplace and I'm not about it. Because if you're ever on the receiving end of that and you have to pigtail seven different wires inside of a box that have half an inch of wire, then you'll know that you should never do that again. So not that I did in the first place, but my coworkers have done it. And it's just not fun to do. Try to fix other people's work when you have no wire. You have to pigtail seven wires inside of a three-gang box, so anyways.
gonna ground this one here real quick. Just pigtail out your grounds. And then the neutrals again, tie them together. And I do really like these strippers so far. Like, I wish Klein would sponsor me or something so I could promote their product even though I already do for free, so. Be sweet if I got some sponsored tools to give away or something. Um, anyways, so the four-way, similar. Um, this is it for the four-way. You have your one pigtail for your ground, no neutrals, and then your four wires here on the switch. So you do probably need to, um, it's gonna help you if you twist your travelers together. So you know um, that this pair of wires go together and this pair of wire goes together. Although if you just look with your eyes, you can see that that wire comes from the right hole and this wire comes from the left hole. But if you had both wires in the same hole, then it could get confusing. So it is helpful to twist your travelers together on the four way. Um, and then you're just gonna tuck these wires back up in the box as far as you can. Um, so for the four way, you do have four, two sets of travelers and then one ground. So you're gonna have five screws on this. On your three ways, you're just gonna have your four screws, your ground, your two travelers, and your common. So anyways, you're just gonna fold these up when you're done and you can leave however much wire you want in there. Maybe I'll just leave all of it I don't feel like cutting it. But anyways, so that one's ready to go right there. Shove that back in there. And then this one over here, I need to find my ground pigtail for that one. It's completely, completely gone. I found it. Okay. So this one, once again, you're going to ground and pigtail and the ground wire. As you can tell the switch leg has already been used several times, so it's not gonna be the easiest. Grab another wire nut here. Stuff laying everywhere on the ground. So these three right here are ready to go. Why not maybe use a little bit too much? So those three are ready to go. And then tie the neutrals together one more time. Try not to confuse these. Or twist these up. I kind of twisted them a little bit maybe. And then once again, cut these the same length. Was a little bit twisted. And then this one right here. And then another wire nut. Once again, you are ready to go. Um, so you got your ground pigtail, your two travelers, and your common. In this case, on this side, it's the switch leg. So you can wrap the um, common or switch leg around the travelers again on this side. Um, and then go ahead and fold everything back into the box. Right now. I'm cut these a little bit shorter. That power wire, I mean the switch light wire is a little bit short. Anyways, it's not the biggest deal. So anyways, there you have it. That is how you do the four-way switch as well as the three-way switches for the complete set. So. This is a really long video, so thank you for sticking by if you watched the whole thing. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I would appreciate it. It helped the channel out. And I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. Don't forget to check the description for anything else. If you want to see any of these tools that I got, check my Amazon store. And then um, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.